Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I have a pretty uh, cool knife. Uh, this was sent to me by someone to, uh, to check out and uh, see what I thought of and I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, this is a knife called the Tengu. All right, this was designed by Low Tactical and you can find Low Tactical on uh, Instagram. Uh, he designed the knife and uh, it was actually made by Extrema Ratio, which I'm sure you can maybe tell just by its overall feel. Let me pull it out here so you can see it. And uh, this is exclusively sold through Knives.it, which is an Italian knife dealer, all right? So this is actually something that all of the uh, people viewing outside of the US might be interested in because not only is it available uh, to be shipped to you, uh, but it's through a, another dealer. I constantly like being exposed to, uh, to dealers outside the US because I'm talking to people in different countries every single day. Every single day, someone hits me up from, okay, I'm from France, I'm from Italy, I'm from Germany, I'm from Yugoslavia, I mean, just all over the place, right? And the question is always the same. Where can I get cool knives? Because they're hard to find where I live. Well, there are a lot of uh, overseas uh, dealers, you know? Uh, sometimes, you know, the, the, the prices will be more expensive, maybe less options out there. Um, but Knives.it is actually a different website that I've heard before. All right, this is just maybe the second or third time I've heard of it and actually, you know, really kind of looked around there and they do have quite a bit of variety. So anyway, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, kind of, again, a collaboration between Low Tactical, um, who already had the design, basically made a production version of his knife that was exclusively sold uh, through this dealer. So let's take a closer look at this. You can see, obviously, we have a karambit style ring, uh, which is really, really nice. It's super, super comfortable. All right, very easy to draw as well. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but of course you could hold this in a, a forward grip as well, put your pinky through there. What I really like about the design is that it's on the thicker side. Okay, a lot of times I've seen multiple knives that have a similar style where we have a very small uh, blade, pretty slender handle and a ring. Uh, multiple companies over the years have made different versions of this for different purposes. This I think is like 95% defensive blade and maybe 5% utilitarian. This is not something I would recommend you just buy to use all the time to cut open box and stuff. You could certainly do so, but because it's thicker, the pro of that is that it's super comfortable in the hand, okay? And it's extremely, extremely sturdy. The downside or con to that is for utilitarian use, okay, that thicker edge is gonna create a little more resistance in cutting things, all right? So if you were to use this for utility purposes and you didn't care about defensive blades, then it would definitely be kind of a backup to a main blade. Uh, on the flip side of that, uh, different versions of this style of knife that are super thin, they're fantastic for uh, for utility and they're okay, they're totally fine for defense, but when you have a super thin blade like that, you know, not to get gory or anything, but you know, you're, you're basically putting this in bone and stuff, you, you can have your blade snap, um, they're much more fragile. And uh, in a real defensive situation, things are very frantic, things are very desperate, and having a sturdy knife would definitely be something that you'd want. So again, mostly defensive in my opinion, a little less utilitarian, uh, but still a really cool design. It's actually super unique that we have a little plain edge tanto, which is very nice, has a nice tip, all right, for penetration, which is mostly what you're doing with this. Because it's such a small blade, this is not necessarily a, a style of knife you're gonna be slashing with, you know what I'm saying? You would use this in the reverse grip. Uh, even if you have no training, just the natural instinct to stab things, I mean, that's where you're going with this, right? And in certain situations, if you do get this inside uh, of someone a little bit, and I've seen different techniques like this, um, where once it's in there, you can literally just full force use your palm and you could push this thing all the way down to that ring. Uh, it's, it's just nasty. It would definitely uh, get the job done, let's say. Um, but I mean, overall, I really like the design. It's just, I do want to put a, he a heavy focus on the fact that I feel like it's more uh, defensive than utility. But you can, of course, use it for utility if you wanted to. The little run of serration on the back would actually be very beneficial if that's what you wanted to use this for. So if you're not thinking about the fence and you don't really care and you just want to have a backup knife or a boot knife, this would make an excellent boot knife, uh, that little run of serration would really, really be helpful, you know, ripping open some extra fibrous materials. If you're maybe cutting through zip ties and stuff, you might have a hard time with this, uh, this little tanto, whereas that would be a little more aggressive cutting. What is interesting is that you would think that this here is sharpened, but this little run on the back is not actually ground. Now you can easily do that yourself. You can grind that down and, and sharpen that as well. Um, but the designer decided to just keep the little run of serrations and then just this plain edge on the other side. All right, so you can see the uh, knives.it logo on one side, all right, on the back. 
We have Low Tactical. Again, uh, follow him on Instagram. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I mean, he does make custom versions of this knife. This is just a production version of it. But as we go down, I do like the, the little diamond cutouts here. Um, in a reverse grip, you're not really feeling that so much. In a, a forward grip, let me back out. Too, I'm still too close there. In a forward grip, uh, your fingers wrap around and you feel this. This actually becomes a uh, grip to you because there's a lot of those uh, sharper edges, okay, that kind of grab the skin. So it just depends on, again, what your purpose uh, for having this knife would be. But that could be uh, uh, very beneficial as far as function. So on the back here, you see engineered by Extrema Ratio, which, of course, Italian knife company, and then made in Italy. I don't know what that is, uh, the C0052R. I don't know if it's just a, a code for the knife or maybe uh, a serial number. I don't know. This is a limited uh, production knife, but I don't know to how many pieces exactly. But yeah, I mean, pretty interesting stuff. This is in uh, an N690 uh, CO, which is totally adequate uh, for both uh, defense. As far as defense is concerned, I've had this question a lot over the years. Like, oh, I want to buy a knife. Um, it's just for defense. Uh, you know, I have a cheap steel. Is that okay? You know, because I couldn't really afford an expensive knife. Absolutely. You can use the cheapest piece of crap knife in the world for defense. Uh, you don't have to worry about edge retention. It's not going to be used often. And any knife that you would ever ever considered to be a defensive knife, I wouldn't use it whatsoever. You want to have a factory edge or better. It has to be razor sharp because in that moment, the last thing you want to do is try to fight for your life with something that's dull. Okay, so that's just a personal opinion, but anything that you would even remotely mutter the word defensive, I just don't use. I've carried knives for defense. They're brand new, never ever used, out of the box. You know, I, I, I test the edge once just to make sure it is nice and sharp. And it doesn't get touched. It's a secondary knife or a third knife that's on my body and it never gets used for anything, okay? And what happens, I think, for some people is maybe you have a backup knife that's for defense and your main knife's kind of getting dull, so use your backup knife a little bit. That's fine if you resharpen it, you know what I'm saying? But personally, I would just keep those just factory, just razor, razor sharp. Um, or in some cases, even better than factory for some people. But, uh, but anyway... Uh, the uh, N690CO is, again, totally adequate for this, um, but if you did want to actually use it, it does hold an okay edge. It's not that bad at all. Um, it's, you know, very comparable to like a 440C, but, you know, used heavily overseas. That's why you see that a lot, uh, especially like Italian knives. Now, as far as price, there's two different options for these. There's the basic one, which is just this knife, and it actually comes with a different sheath than what you're looking at here. All right, the sheath that comes standard only covers basically this much of the knife, okay? Then you have just the handle sticking up and the ring. That's the standard sheath. Um, this one is the collector sheath. So just the knife itself is about $134 US. And hopefully my conversions are correct because obviously it's in, you know, um, uh, euros uh, because it's an Italian site. But it, it comes out to about $134 uh, with the standard sheath. Now, if you wanted the collector's package, it comes with this sheath. This is the collector sheath as well as a collector's um, like uh, pouch, which is really nice. And that is about $177-ish in and around. So about an extra $40 for the longer sheath and a, a cool little pouch. It's up to you if that's something that, you know something you want, obviously, if you're a collector, or if you happen to just really prefer the sheath style, which I actually really like the sheath. I wish I the other person had sent the smaller one just so I can kind of test the difference. But I like that this houses most of, uh, of the unit here. Um, you can see how this is working with the ring you can see how it's kind of the ring is what is being retained so this is kind of like almost like a melt job um so when you're dipping down again depends on the orientation of how you're carrying this knife but dipping down putting a finger in there it just it glides out easily very very comfortable it snaps in with uh enough force there's no way this is going to accidentally shake out now you can see this comes with the ulti clip these are like i mean i kind of can take or leave these uh it's really really interesting so if you haven't seen this, how this works is basically, this is like spring steel and it's super, super stiff. The bottom piece here just pulls out, you know, obviously you're gonna put the, you put your pant material in here, your waistband or whatever you're doing, maybe a boot, um, and uh, you lock it down. So this kind of pivots and it, there's a little, you know, angle cut on it. So you can see how that's like a 90 degree angle. So as you're pushing, it's putting pressure on it and then it kind of like locks in place. Now, when this is locked on something, it will absolutely not move. My only gripe with these is sometimes it's harder to get off. So once you have this on, yeah, you're, you're golden. Uh, but if you want to take it on and off all the time, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Because even once you lift that, there's still a lot of pressure to get the material out from under here. Right? And especially since we have hardware right behind it. 
So imagine your material has to kind of snake between that. And again, it's just kind of a stiff thing. But, you know, as far as actual utility, uh, it works really, really well. But obviously, if you didn't like that, you could take that off. You could see that we have the uh, sets of grommets. It's two, four, six, and there's uh, another one down here and another one over there. And you can also see there is a hole to uh, to be able to, it's just like a drainage hole in case this happens to get wet or something, you won't have water soaked up in here. But I do recommend any knife, even if it has a drainage hole, if you think it got wet, take it out and rub it down with some oil just to be sure. Make sure your sheath is uh, nice and dried out. But uh, but yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the Tengu, it's a really interesting knife. I do love this, just this design overall. I really, really like as a backup knife, again, you don't really have to be super trained in, uh, you know, karambit style knife fighting or anything like that. Just holding this this way, you have the full retention of the ring. So no matter what, unless your finger is broken off or cut off or something, you're not going to drop or lose your knife as long as you keep a grip on there. Um, so having a karambit style knife or a karambit ring for a defensive blade is, is super, super advantageous in that respect. Obviously, you can use it similar to a karambit. You get a little bit more reach there. Um, you know, you can flip this thing around and look really impressive and scary and stuff. <laughs> but uh, I absolutely don't recommend taking a knife out to intimidate someone unless you're actually willing to use it. Uh, otherwise, keep it in your pocket and walk away. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, really, really cool knife. Totally defensive, in my opinion. Having a thicker stock here leans itself more to be defensive. There is all those pros of it having all that extra strength because it is thicker. Um, but if you like this style and you want something kind of more utility, you probably go with something a little bit thinner. But it's really, really interesting. And uh, it's super exciting too, just to uh, be able to finally show something that people outside the US have a little bit more access to. Anyway, I want to thank the person who had uh, sent this. Uh, I think it's really, really neat. And again, knives.it, if you happen to live in Italy or you know anywhere in Europe and stuff, um, I don't know offhand exactly where they ship knives, but I would have to assume they would ship all throughout Europe and probably other countries as well. Um, but it's really nice to have another source for, you know, a knife place outside the U.S. I, I talk to so many people and every single day they're just like, hey, I, I want this knife, but I don't have it. I'm in this country. And they're bummed, you know, all the, the cool knives are America, but not so much. There's plenty of cool knives outside of America. You just have to know where to look. So, very cool collaboration, uh, very, very cool design. So, big shout out again to Low Tactical. Um, just did a really knockout job with the design to begin with, but I've always been a fan of Extrema Ratio knives. I actually have one of the razors they've had for a, a few months as well now, and uh, maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. Uh, some people don't like them just because they're you know kind of expensive, but it is what it is. I mean, not every brand is for every person, but I happen to have always had good experiences with uh, Extrema ratio, very good quality, very good attention to detail. Obviously, this is just one, you know, full tang piece of metal. There's no scales or anything like that. It's pretty simple as far as manufacture, but they did a good job on the uh, the finishing on everything. Just pretty cool. And uh, again, just uh, an interesting collaboration from uh, outside the U.S. So that's all. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys happen to live outside the U.S. If you've ever ordered from knives.it, please tell me your experience. I wanna know if they're a good dealer, if it's a good source, because again, people are constantly asking where they can get knives. And if people like it overall, I love to recommend it to people outside the US. You know, there's so many cool dealers here that just won't ship outside of our borders. You know what I mean? So for foreign viewers, I'd really like to be able to give them more information on where they can get some cool knives. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.